so yeah, basically we were driving um, to yeah go investigate whether it was like lights from the doof or lot. It was just like lightning in the clouds. And as we're driving up the road, we just see this dark figure in the middle of the road. And as we kind of drove up closer, it kind of got up onto its hind legs and yeah, it was very like ape-like in the way it moved. And yeah, it was completely terrifying. So what kind of, what time of night are we talking about? Probably 7.30. Okay. And how how could you see it? Like what was enabling you to see it? Was it... Um... Uh, it was the headlights of the car. Okay. So yeah, we saw it, saw it pretty like clear, like the shape of it pretty clearly. Sterling, what about you? What was your impression? Tell us what you, you first thought you were looking at. Yeah, so it, I thought it was first a boar uh, that I was looking at because I was the one driving the ute because that was the reason why we went to the thing was I was the driver. And I first saw it and I just started freaking out. Obviously, I can't swear on live radio, but we were swearing just being like, what is that? We had no clue because it looked like a big wild boar. And on a hike a couple of weeks before, we did see a boar. Uh, and then it turned around when we got closer and closer with the car, and it was definitely not a boar. It had the long ape-like arms that were now touching the ground and, like, the human-like hairy face, and we're, like, just absolutely freaking out. And then as we got closer, it galloped off under the house, like, uh, running on all fours like an ape. And we went to the manager's house. They laughed us out, and we went back to look for it again, and that's when our third friend saw it, uh, Margus, who's also in the uh, Courier Mail uh, article. And yeah, we, it was just rummaging through the garbage underneath the community hall in Jimna, and it was the most petrifying experience of my no life. No way. Oh my gosh. Now, you've apparently, Sterling, heard at least of the term, well, you haven't heard of the term Yowie before, but you've heard of something else in your homeland of uh, Canada. Yeah, that's, uh, so we have like the Bigfoot and Sasquatch back in Canada, and I did like projects in years three and four on it. But I always just thought it was like the myth and urban legend and just like an Aboriginal like folk tour tale. And I never believed anyone who saw it. But after seeing that, and we didn't even know about the Yowie at the time, we just knew it was like an ape-like thing. And we started Googling things. And that's when we found out that the Kilcoy and Jimna State Forest have had like 10,000 sightings of the Yowie. And we're like, holy, that's what we saw. So it's kind of surreal to come from like Canada where we have a very similar um, creature to never believing in it. And now coming to an Australia across the world and actually seeing that. What about you, Seamus? Had you heard of the Yowie before? Uh, I've heard of it, but nothing. I've kind of just dismissed it. It was just, you know, something you hear and never actually look into it. And then, yeah, as after we had that sighting, we kind of looked up, like, sightings in Jimna, and we kind of looked into it that little bit more, and then we found out there was, it fit perfectly with what we saw. But yeah, never really believed it before, but now I'm definitely a believer. <laughs> Did you need to change your undies after that experience? Uh, <laughs> nearly, <laughs> nearly, <laughs> very nearly. Oh, my gosh, I don't know what I would think. I mean, it, this is something, uh, whether you believe in it or you don't believe in it, you're talking about something that is completely outside the human experience, really, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So what about your mates who also saw it? You had you had a couple of other people with you? Yeah, we had a, uh, the third person with us. And the first time around when we just saw on the road, he was just like having a beer in the back because he just wanted to go along for the ride to the Duff. And me and Shane was the only one seeing it. And we were freaking out. He didn't believe us. He was actually making fun of us as we drove to the manager's house. And then he was the first one to see it the second time around. And he was so creeped out, he could barely sleep as we were camping in tents. And oh. yeah, he was like, I can't even sleep anymore. No. Oh my gosh. Did anyone think to pick up a mobile phone and take a picture? Oh, I think like, that's like the the wish. And like, that's the, like the thing we wish we could go back and do. But I, me and Seamus, both of us, when we first saw it, like we just couldn't stop swearing and yelling, what the F is that? Like, that's just all I remember is just us creeping forward in the car, just being like, what is that? What is that? Just absolutely scared of my, our minds. How but, did, uh, no. I mean, but, how did it respond to you? It was, yeah. So it stoically turned around as we got closer, right? That's why I first thought it was a boar because all we could see was the rear end. And then it turned around and it wasn't a boar. That's when it went on all fours. And the sword was like a deer in headlights, and it just stayed there as we slowly crept forward, getting more and creeped out. And then as we sort of got like maybe 15, 20 meters away, that's when it started to run away under the community hall that's in Jimna. Now, here's a sound recording that some locals in the Gold Coast hinterland captured of what they believe is the sound that a yaoi makes. Oh, no way. I don't know if you could hear that very clearly. Did this yowie make Can't any wait. kind of noise? 
Um, if I'm honest with you, I think me and Seamus can both agree we were way too much of scaredy cats to get out of the car and listen to it. Uh, we only heard uh, the rain and lightning and then just saw it. So sadly, we didn't hear what it sounded like. Uh, judging by what it looked like, I, I would guess, you know, that sounds sort of like what it would sound like. But no, we were scaredy cats in the car. I won't even lie. Sounds a bit like Rocky <laughs> to me. How long have you been in the area? I mean, have you seen anything similar before? Uh, no, I've never, like, like I said, that's why we thought it was a boar at first. Cause we know like wild boars are around. Um, but no, we were in the a area there for about two, three weeks, tree planting and just the state forest. And yep. I was here last year as well for a couple, two months actually. And I never experienced, I didn't hear about it. Didn't even know that Kilko even had a statue. And then this happens and I'm like, how did I not know about it? So Seamus, I understand that uh, you have since been out on a few Yowie hunts to try and, you know, investigate a bit further. How's that uh, gone for you? Yeah, uh, we, after we recruited a few of their local kids and, um, yeah, we went on a little hunt and, yeah, it was pretty unsuccessful kind of attempt. But, um, yeah, I've also joined, like, Facebook groups and things like that. So, yeah, definitely converted my mind. Really? So you're both now yeah. believers in the Yowie? Definitely, 100%. 100%.